Have you ever wondered how your data is protected online? In this ever-evolving digital age, understanding the mechanisms safeguarding our online data is more crucial than ever. We're surrounded by an invisible fortress, a complex architecture of security measures designed to protect our online presence. This fortress is not built of stone or steel, but of protocols and algorithms, and it's composed of three main components, authentication, authorization, and accounting. Authentication verifies our identity, ensuring we are who we claim to be. Authorization determines what we're allowed to do, controlling our access rights. Accounting, meanwhile, keeps track of what we do, logging our activities for further analysis. These three elements, together, form the backbone of online data protection, creating a safe environment for us to explore, interact, and innovate. So, ready to unravel the mystery? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into these fascinating elements of cybersecurity. Firstly, let's unlock the world of authentication. This is the process that verifies if someone or something is, indeed, who or what it claims to be. In the digital realm, it's like a virtual handshake between a user and a system, confirming the user's identity before granting access to information or resources. Now, how does this magic happen? Through three key factors. Think of these as the three musketeers of cybersecurity. First up, something you know. This is the most common factor and includes passwords, pins, or answers to secret questions. Remember when you set up your email and chose a password? That's a classic example of this factor. Next we have something you have. This could be a physical or virtual object like a smart card, a security token, or even a text message with a code sent to your smartphone. Ever received a verification code on your phone to log into a social media account? That's this factor in action. Lastly, there's something you are. This is the most personal and hardest to fake. It includes biometrics like fingerprints, iris scans, and voice recognition. Modern smartphones using fingerprint or facial recognition to unlock. You guessed it, that's this factor at work. These factors can work alone or in combination. When two or more of these factors are used together, it's called multi-factor authentication, upping the security game. So why is this important? Well, the digital world is like a bustling city and your data is a treasure chest. Authentication is like the lock on that chest. Without a proper lock, anyone could walk up and take a peek inside. But with authentication, only you hold the key. Remember, the strength of the lock depends on the strength of your authentication factors. A complex password, a unique security token, or a distinct biometric feature. These are your best friends in the vast digital landscape. Thus, authentication is our first line of defense in protecting our online data. The stronger it is, the safer your treasure chest remains. So, let's keep our keys safe, our locks strong, and our data secure. Onward to a safer digital world. Now imagine having the keys but needing permission to enter. That's where authorization comes in. Authorization is a crucial component in the world of cybersecurity. It's the process that comes into play after your identity has been authenticated. It's like the bouncer at the club who checks your ID, then decides whether you're allowed in or not, based on other factors like age or dress code. In the digital world, authorization is about determining what you, as a verified user, are allowed to do, what resources you can access, and what operations you can perform. It's the gatekeeper that ensures you only have the access you need and nothing more. So, how does this gatekeeping work? Well, there are three main types of authorization. Discretionary access control, mandatory access control, and role-based access control. Each plays a unique role in controlling access to data. Firstly, we have discretionary access control, or DAC. This method allows the owner of the information or resource to personally decide who gets access. It's like lending a friend a book from your personal library. You, as the owner, have the discretion to decide who gets to read your book. Next, there's mandatory access control, or MAC. This is a more rigid and policy-driven approach. Access permissions are assigned by a central authority based on multiple factors such as the user's clearance level and the data's classification. Imagine a high-security government building where access to certain floors is strictly controlled. That's MAC in action. Finally, we have Role-Based Access Control, or RBAC. In this model, access rights are based on the roles users have within the system. For instance, in a company, a manager may have different access rights compared to a regular employee. It's all about the role you play. Authorization, therefore, acts as a gatekeeper, deciding who gets access to what data. It's about ensuring that the right people have the right access, keeping our digital world secure. 
Finally, once you're in, someone needs to keep track. Enter accounting. In the realm of cybersecurity, accounting is the unsung hero that diligently keeps tabs on everything that transpires once access is granted. It's like the digital equivalent of a meticulous bookkeeper, taking note of every detail and ensuring nothing slips through the cracks. Accounting measures the resources that a user consumes during access. Think of it as a digital footprint of your activity. It records the amount of system time you've used and the data you've sent and received during a session. It's like a stopwatch and a weighing scale rolled into one, carefully monitoring time and data. But what is the purpose of all this tracking, you might ask? Well, the uses of accounting are manifold. It plays a key role in authorization control, ensuring that users only access what they're meant to and do not overstep their boundaries. It is used for billing purposes, calculating charges based on resource consumption. It aids in trend analysis, offering insights into user behavior and system usage patterns. Furthermore, it assists in resource utilization, helping to identify inefficiencies and optimize resource allocation. And, it's instrumental in capacity planning activities, ensuring that the system is equipped to handle current and future demands. Accounting, then, is our final component, maintaining a record of user activities and resource usage. It's the silent sentinel, always watching and always recording, keeping the digital world secure and orderly. As we've seen, authentication, authorization, and accounting, the AAA, form a powerful trio in protecting our online data. Authentication verifies our identity through something we know, have, or are. Authorization controls access, using methods like discretionary, mandatory, or role-based access control. Accounting tracks our usage, providing valuable data for trend analysis, resource planning, and more. Together, these three pillars of cybersecurity work in unison to keep our digital world secure. In our digital world, Understanding the ADA is crucial to navigate and protect our online presence effectively.